I'm Mary Ann, and as always, I'm honored to be able to join you guys in your living room studio for Harvey Nasa today. Um, as always, props, not necessary. Water bottle, pretty necessary. Maybe a sweat towel if that's something that you think that you need. Um, I also have a block if that's helpful for you in balancing. If a block is not accessible for you, you are welcome to uh, maybe get a stack of books or use the top of your water bottle. As always, magnify, modify, and if any time child's pose is accessible to you, it's your practice, your way, always. Let's get started in child's pose today. Come down to your mat, and maybe your hips are a little bit stiff like mine. You can take embryo, which is a modified version. Knees can come together. Sink your hips towards your heels. Allow your forehead to rest down on the mat. If this is too much for you, this is where your block can be helpful, bringing the ground up towards you. Hands can come back behind you. Wherever you're at, in whatever variation of child's pose. Welcome these first few minutes of your practice as a place to arrive. Arrive with no judgment, no expectations. Simply be open. Open to learning. Open to exploring. Open to playing. Open to allowing. In vinyasa, breath is king. So if what you accomplish today in this class is an awareness of breath, then you are practicing vinyasa. I invite you to begin this class with curiosity. Curiosity about how you can serve your needs today. Curiosity about what you need to allow yourself to move and move and flow from a place of authenticity. What do you need to lay down on this mat right now to give you freedom of movement? What weight or burden might you be carrying of your own or others around you that you need to set down? As you tune in a little bit deeper to your own needs, begin to observe and notice breath simply as it is. As always, no expectations and no judgments of how it needs to be. Just observing, outside looking in. Allowing breath to come into your body. Allowing breath to move through your body and allowing your breath to leave your body. Noticing the space in between each cycle of breath. And then with intention, begin to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Taking breath in through your nose and an audible exhale out through your mouth. Together as one community, draw a full deep breath in through your nose. Drag your ear down the back of your throat, bring it all the way down to the lowest belly, back up through your diaphragm. Open up your mouth, H-A. Take a stronger, full, intentional breath through your nose. Once again, bring that breath down your throat, into deepest belly, up into your diaphragm. Expand your lungs in all directions. Open your mouth, audible exhale. Take strongest, deepest, fullest breath so far. Allow your lips to seal. 
Send your breath down your body to the tips of your toes. Take it another sip. Hold that breath and settle. Allow. Then send your breath back out through your nose. It's that same intention of lengthening inhales and exhales with your audible breath. Breathing in through your nose. Breathing out through your nose. In vinyasa today, link breath to movement. If I move too fast, slow it down for yourself. As always, it's your practice, your way. Child's pose again is always home for you. Staying in child's pose, thread the right hand palm up underneath your left shoulder. Go ahead and lower your right ear back down to the mat. You can walk your left fingertips forward if that feels good. Maybe you want to find a half line. Palm is up, thumb leads the way to the small of your back. And change if you have a bind release it. Bring your hand back long in front. Right hand comes back through center. Walk it forward. Come back to your child's pose and settle. Noticing difference from side to side. No judgments, no attachments. And then we'll take the left, left side palm is up. Thread underneath the right. Again, you can walk your right fingertips forward if that's what you need. If you want a little bit more, you can take your hand to the small of your back. And allow. Notice and cultivate that breath of intention. Maybe today your vinyasa can serve as a moving meditation. And change if you have the mind, release it. Stretch your right arm back, bring your left arm back. Press into your fingertips, tent them. Roll your shoulders away from your ears, sink your forehead to the mat. Go ahead and roll your forehead from side to side, finding a little massage. Breathe into the space behind your heart. Feel expansion and a place of openness. Notice that tender heart today. How does he or she feel? Lower your palms to the mat. Slide yourself back. Find yourself in a tabletop position, moving mindfully. Ooh, I'm sore today, so welcome to Tin Woman Yoga. Plant your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Crown stretches towards the front of the room. Then walk your fingers about six inches forward. Leave your hips high. Lower to your forearms, press your hips back. Lower down on Hatha, melting heart, also known as puppy dog. Allow your heart to melt down towards the mat. Keep your hips up high. If you want a little bit more, bring your chin to the mat. Gaze is forward. Once again, noticing that beautiful, sweet heart. How is it feeling? Press back up to your forearms. Press all the way back. Inhale, look up. Tail up, your belly drops. On an exhale, press the mat away. Tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis, round your spine deeply. Inhale, let it go, belly soft. Chin up, pelvis up. Exhale, press the mat away. Tuck and round. Come back to a neutral spine. Uddiyana Bandha, core engagement, slight tuck of your pelvis, navel to spine. Stretch your right foot back behind you, point into your toes, then roll to the inside arch of your foot. Allow your right hip to open. Reach, stretch your hand all the way forward, modified side plank. Bring weight into your back foot. Bring your right hand to the top, press up. Gate pose, reach, stretch to the back of the room. Plant your hand, move back to that modified side plank. Come back up. Find the gate pose. One more time through. Reach and stretch forward. Come back to gate pose. Come back to your modified side plank. Reach and stretch your hand in front of you. Lift your back foot up off the mat. Push your toes back towards your nose. Elbow to knee and crunch. That's ten. And nine. Eight. 
and seven. Six and five. Four and three. Two. One, reach and stretch everything long, lower your foot to the mat, come back over, lower your palms. Find yourself back in that tabletop and take any movements you might need. We'll take it on the left side. Stretch your right foot back, I'm sorry, your left toes back behind you, lower to the inside arch. Press into it, reach and stretch, find that modified side plank. Bring your left hand to the top, press up, find your gate pose. Come on back, modified side plank, press back up. One more time through, press back up. Lower back down, plant, stack shoulder over wrists. Lift your back leg up, flex your toes towards your nose, reach and stretch, elbow to knee again for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach and stretch, plant your foot, come back over, find that tabletop position, stack the joints, press your palms into the mat, untuck your toes, lift your knees, find yourself in your downward facing dog, and go ahead and take your dog for a walk, maybe shifting your legs from side to side. If you press into your toes, feel a lengthening in your Achilles, into your calves, into your hamstrings. Allow your shoulders to come away from your ears. The eye of your elbows, that inside part of your elbows, they spin into one another. Press your chest towards the tops of your thighs. Inhale, knees bend, press into your toes. Exhale, hips, flare legs and lengthen, heels soften. With your core engaged, bend your knees, look forward. Tiny tippy toe steps. Woo, all the way up. Step your feet about hip distance apart. Find yourself in ragdoll. You can reach your opposite elbows. Palms can rest on the mat. What feels good for you? What does your body need today? How can you allow yourself to move more authentically throughout this practice? Allow your head to be heavy. Your neck is long, your face is soft, release the tension between your eyes. Allow your fingertips to plant on the mat, heel toe, heel toe, feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, Uttanasana, long straight spine, press from the crown of your head to the tip of your tailbone. As you exhale, fold, bend your knees. Sweep your arms out wide, palms touch. Bring hands into heart center. On an inhale, heart lifts up to great hands. On an exhale, press your thumbs into your heart. Are you not grateful to feel your heart beat for you for another day? Yoga is the union of body, mind, and breath. Connect body to mind. In three full rounds of breath as heart lifts up to sky. If you have came with an intention, view it in your mind's eye, attach your intention to your breath, breathe it into every part of your body. As you exhale, release anything standing in the way of purest intention. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms touch. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, knees bend, arms sweep out wide, find the back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, sweep your arms up, maybe find the back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, knees bend, arms come out wide, find the back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, plant your hips, step your feet 
like chest and chin as you lower everything down to the mat. Press the tops of your feet into the mat, fingertips next to your chest, gaze is soft. Very slowly press into your fingers, lift your chest up. Bring your elbows and tight shoulders away from your ears, soften the muscles of your face. Inhale. Exhale, lower everything down. Bring your fingers outside of your mat, press, keep your elbows out wide. Very slowly lift your chest up off the mat, gaze is soft. Keep your elbows bent. And on an exhale, lower everything down. Fingertips next to your chest, roll over your toes. You can always come through knees to tabletop. Lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Big full breath in. H-A. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees low, look forward. Jump step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, knees bend, sweep your arms out wide, find your back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, second option, high plank, and then you can jump, step, or hop back. As always, you can lower to your knees. Squeeze your elbows in tight, shift forward, lower halfway, and hover, belly up and in. Inhale, roll over your toes. Upward facing dog, spread your collarbone up wide. Exhale, roll over your toes, lift your hips high. Downward facing dog. Big deep breath in. H-A. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees low, look forward, jump, step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full bend your knees. Salute the sun, find your biggest back bend. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Take one of the first two or follow me. Jump step or hop back. Find a high push up to a low. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. H-A. Come back onto your breath. Three full rounds of breath here. As always, in your vinyasa, pick and choose what works best for your body. You can always skip vinyasa, knee this back and dog, or take this from table top position. Inhale, shift forward, find yourself in your high plank pose. We're going to go into side plank. You can always lower body knee like we did at the beginning. Otherwise, Vashi stops in a stack left shoulder over left wrist. Reach and stretch yourself up high. Take your top leg, plant it behind you, lift your hips, reach and stretch. Rock star. Bring your leg back, we're gonna thread the needle, put your right arm high. Exhale, thread it under, that's nine. And eight. Seven. And six. Five. That's four. Three. Two. One, lift it back up high, plant your hand down, step your right foot forward, lizard pose, lower left knee to the mat. Your right foot is further out. Be sure you flex through your ankle, flex your toes to your nose. Inhale, easy twist, lift your right arm up high. On an exhale, thread it under the left, thread under. Nine, and thread. Eight, and thread. Seven, thread under. Six, that's five. And four, three, two, one. Lower to lizard, lower your forearms. Keep your leg out wide. Just begin to feel the stretch in your front hip flexor. Maybe you feel it under right your thighs. Maybe you feel it back in your glutes, maybe back in your QLs or your IT band. Just settle here, three rounds of breath. Press back up to your hands, walk your right foot to the center of your mat, your hands frame. Bring your knee over top of your ankle, roll over your back left toe. Inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. On an exhale, find a twist this time to the right side of the room, keep low. Press into your back left toes, bring your arms out wide, inhale, come back, high crescent. Exhale, shoulder rinse, inhale, heart 
your lips as you exhale humbly with your heart. Bring your right shoulder to the inside of your right thigh. Lift your shoulder rinse up. Press into your back, left toes. You can always lower knee to the mat while you're working on balance, challenge balance. Gaze can be at your navel. Slowly lower your hands to either side, find your vinyasa. You can jump back, you can keep your leg high, wherever you're at. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left side shift forward, high plank. We're going right into Vashti Sasana side plank. Remember, you can always do your variations. Stack your right shoulder under, opening. Lift high. Take your top leg, place it behind, press into your toes. Reach and stretch, drop star. Come back to your side plank. Thread the needle. Bring it under. And lift. That's eight. And seven, six, and five, four, and three. That's two. One inhale, lift it high. Plant your left hand down, step your left foot out, lizard pose, lower right knee to the mat. Again, flex through your left ankle to protect your knee. Easy twist, lift your left arm up high. And then we're going to thread left arm under right for nine. And that's eight. Seven. And six. Five. And four. Three. That's two. One. Lift it back high. Lower down. You can stay here or bring lower down to your forearms. Three rounds of breath. I like to move a little bit, give myself permission to release my hips. They got lots to say. My hips don't lie, but they have a hard time letting go. Maybe yours too. Stay with breath. If you're on your forearms, press back up. Walk your left foot to the center of the mat, hands frame. Roll over your back toe. Press up high, press and four is engaged. On an exhale, find that twist. Opposite direction, sink low. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, shoulder rinse. Inhale, your heart lifts high. Exhale, bow down, heart leads. Left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Press into your back toes. Again, gaze can go up and under towards your navel. On an exhale, hands frame either side. Find your vinyasa, whatever variation you're looking for. Stay with breath. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, bend your knees. Stack your hips half scorpion. You can stay or you can lower down to the left forearm. Bring your knee up towards the ceiling. Huh. Press back up. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, right to right. Inhale. Exhale, right to left. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Flex your toes. Step it through. High crescent lunge. Inhale, rise all the way up. On an exhale, find that twist. Sing low. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, warrior two. Press into your back foot. Elbows, sorry, shoulders come away. Squeeze your glutes and hamstrings. Gaze is strong. Inhale, reverse, reach forward. Flip your palm. Breathe and expand. Straighten your front leg. Pyramid pose. Keep your arms out, body lean forward. And find your pyramid. This is a good place for a block for you. I like to press into my fingertips. Give my lower body a little bit more length. Plant your left hand down. Step your back left foot in just a bit. We're going to revolve. Lift your right arm up high. Shift your work 
into your right foot. Revolve your moon. Point through your back foot. Half moon pose. Bring your hands down to the mat. Close your hips. Now open to the opposite side of the room. Stack. Flex your toes towards your nose. You can always hover. Begin to bend your front knee. Land it. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach and stretch. As you exhale, cart your hands to the mat. Find your vinyasa. You may always skip. Inhale. On an exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, half scorpion bend and stack. Again, you can always lower to form if that feels good. Knee towards the ceiling. Press back up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale, left to left. Inhale, exhale, left to right. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, high crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, find that twist, sing a little bit lower. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two, elbows, elbows, I keep wanting to say elbows. Shoulders away. Stack your front knee, reach and stretch. Inhale, reverse, flip your palm. Breathe and expand. Straighten your front leg, pyramid pose, both arms come out wide. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, tilt. Again, this is another place for your block. I like to press into my fingertips, get a little bit more length between my rib and hip. Plant your right hand down slightly, step your right foot in, revolve. Reach and stretch. Feel the twist, bringing out our digestive system. Revolve your moon, step onto your left leg. Point long through your back right. Allow your body to deepen into that twist. Plant your left hand down, level your hips out. Half moon pose. Flex your toes back towards your nose, stack your hips. You can always stay here, maybe a water bottle, maybe hover. Warrior two, bend your front leg, land it. Reverse, reach forward, flip, breathe and expand. And on an exhale, hands down, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, find three rounds of breath here. We're gonna repeat that one more time till we take our break, okay? So we're gonna go a little bit faster through that. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, half scorpion. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale, right to right. Inhale, exhale, right to left. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Flex your toes, high crescent. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straighten your front leg, pyramid, inhale, exhale, tilt, inhale, exhale, revolve, revolve your moon, breathe in, breathe out, close your hips, open up, half moon pose, warrior two, bend, land it, inhale, reverse, Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back behind you. Side plank, open up. This time we're gonna take tree leg. So bring your top toes to your bottom leg. Keep your tree leg, we're gonna go through vinyasa in tree leg. Plant your hands, shift forward. Inhale, now let go. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right on the left side, inhale left high. Exhale, bend and stack, half scorpion. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale, left to left. Inhale, exhale, left to right. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Flex your toes, high crescent. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straighten. Inhale, pyramid. Exhale, tilt. 
Inhale, revolve. Exhale, deepen. Revolve your womb. Exhale. Half moon pose. Bend. Open up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, clench your hands. Step back, high plank again. Mashi Sasana side plank. Take that top leg. Tree leg. Plant, stay in your tree leg. Flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, let that leg go. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big deep breath in. H-A. Going lower to your mat. Woo! Grab a drink of water. How's everybody feeling? I feel a little bit more open. Do you? I'm sweating. This is good. <laughs> Grab a drink of water. All right. We have two more rounds. We're going to stay with some twists. We're going to work a little bit more on our balance. Then we're going to work a little bit more on our binds. And then we're going to come down and stretch. Sound good? Let's start back in child's pose. Come back home to yourself. Come back home to your breath. And once again, tune into what your heart needs. Return back to your Ujjayi breath if you haven't done so already. Breathing in and out through your nose. Coming back to that meditative quality in your breath. Press your palms into the mat, roll over your toes, lift your hips high. Find yourself in your dog and then take your dog legs for a walk, shifting from side to side. Walk your feet up about six inches, shorten your dog. Take your right hand to the outside of your belt, uh, calf. Bend your elbow, pull. Your gaze is under your left shoulder. And release, lower right down. We'll take left side, left hand to the outside of your calf. Bend, pull, gaze under your right shoulder. Release, go back to your regular dog. Walk your legs from side to side. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch, hold, squeeze. Inhale, right high. Exhale, right to right, squeeze and pull. Inhale, right high. Exhale, right to the left, squeeze, hold, tap. Inhale, right high. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, high, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, find that twist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Straight your top leg. Pyramid pose, inhale. Exhale, lower your hand. Bring your left hand to the top of your left hip. Walk your back leg in. Half moon pose. You can stay in half moon. You're welcome to go into sugar cane, wherever you're at, however you'd like to play. Sugar cane feet back in half moon, half moon pose. Close your hips, place your hands on either side, standing splits. You're welcome to go upside down, inversions if you'd like. Maybe you want to stay with me. Bring forehead to knee. It's not important how high your back leg is. Just keep it active and engaged. Inversion, seat back and standing splits. Breathe in. As you breathe out, forward fold, left meets right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, plant your hands, jump, step, or hop. Move through your flow. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, left side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, 
Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left high. Exhale, left to left, squeeze and hold. Inhale, left high. Exhale, left to right, squeeze, hold. Inhale, left high. Exhale, knee to nose. Flex your toes. High crescent lunge. Woo! Inhale, rise up. Exhale, find that twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Straighten that top leg. Pyramid, inhale. Exhale. Half moon pose, however you need to get there. Flex your toes towards your nose. Choose to stay. Sugar cane, you're welcome to play. Sugar cane, we turn back. Plant your hands down. Close your hips. Square them to the mat. Standing splits inversion, you're welcome to play. Maybe you want to do some donkey kicks. Maybe you want to stay with me and get into flexibility a little bit more. Again, right leg is active and engaged. Inversion, knee back and standing splits. Breathe in. As you breathe out forward, pull right knees left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Choose your vinyasa. Move with breath. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right high. Exhale, right to right, over to left. Repeat this five times. Left. Three more. Two more. One more. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Flex your toes. High crescent lunge. Woo! Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Bring hands to heart center. Begin to lunge deeply. High stand awesome. Stay here. Reach and stretch. Open your arms out. Reach. Squeeze your side obliques. Lower your hands to the inside. Walk yourself over. Bend your left, flex your back, right toes towards your nose. We'll go into archer. Hands can stay at heart center or on the mat. Otherwise, you can stay static or you can shoot your arrow. I have the tight, tight, tight shoulders, so I'm barely shooting my arrow. Lower your hands to the mat. Keep your legs as they are. Try to lower down to your forearms. See if you can get a little bit more of a stretch here. Bring your hands back. Lower yourself down onto the mat. Your right leg is extended long. Your left knee is bent. A little awkward, I know, but we're going to do this anyways. Marachasana, take your left hand. Wrap it around your left leg. If this is enough for you or you need a strap or a towel, you're welcome. Otherwise, right hand wrap around. Clasp your vine. Gaze over right shoulder. Press your sit bones down to the mat slightly. Tuck your pelvis. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. Stay in your vine if it's okay for your neck. Your gaze is forward. If you want a little bit more, gaze over left shoulder. Release your vine, lower left knee to the mat. Modified rock star, press into your legs. Lift your hips up high, feel that stretch in your side body. On an exhale, hips lower all the way down. Keep your front leg straight, John your sasana. You're welcome to square your body. You're welcome to take sideways. I'm gonna take a variation. My left hand will come to the outside of my right. I'll bend and I'll pull. I'll find a half line with my left hand. You get to choose your variation as it's your practice, your way. Hey. 
and release, bring yourself all the way back up. Extend both of your legs, shake them out, bend your knees, come onto your back. Rock and roll a couple times. <laughs> Plant your hands on the mat, step your feet back behind you. Meet back in your downward facing dog. We have another side to go through and walk your dog side to side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left high. Remember, we're going to go back to that repeating of five. Left to left, over to right, lift to back. That's four. And three. That's two. One more. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Flex your toes high, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, find your twist. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Oh, that's a lot. Bring hands to heart center. High standoffsana. Press. Ooh, much, much, much tighter for me on this side. Maybe lift your arms. Lower your hands down, begin to bend into your right. Flex your left toes back towards your nose. You're always welcome to stay here, hands into the heart center. Or shoot your arrow. Static. Or move with your shoulders aloud. I have hardly any movement in my shoulders right now, apparently. Bring hands back to heart center, then lower down to your forearms. Mm -hmm. Maybe lower down a little bit more. Again, play with sensation. Maybe pointing or flexing toes back towards your nose. See what you need. Bring into that funky transition again. Plant your hands. Lower down. Step your right foot forward. Your left is long. Merit awesome as you can take that bind again. Maybe this is enough for you. If you want, full bind. Press your sit bones down into the mat, slightly tuck your pelvis. Shoulders come away from your ears. Gaze over left shoulder. If it's okay for your neck, gaze comes forward. And then gaze over right. Again, paying attention to sensation in your body. Release your bind lower right knee to the mat. Modified rock star reach, stretch. Open up. Mm, come up, beautiful side body stretch. On an exhale, lower everything down. Keep your left leg long legs exactly as they are. John, use your sauce now. You get to decide what you like. You know where I'm going to go, it's that twist. My right hand will come to the outside and my left will bend. Pull, and then I find the half line. You get to choose three rounds of breath here. Left knee is to the mat. Hands are on either side of your right foot. 
Inhale, heart leads. Exhale, straighten, flex your toes to your nose. Keep your heart low, bring your hands back behind you, gently pull. You're welcome to stay here, you can get into your full splits. We warmed up, but it's not a hot room. As you can see, flexibility is limited. Take what you need, come home to your breath, three rounds of breath here. your hands and walk your right foot, if you can, <laughs> back. <laughs> Pigeon pose, you can take it on your back if you have issues with your knees. Otherwise, right foot walks to the left side of the room. You can always take a block underneath your hip if you have tight hips like me. Maybe find your bind. Woo! Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, fold down. Take what you need. I've been really enjoying walking my hands opposite of my foot. So my foot is to the left. My hands are here to the right. Mm -hmm. As far away from my body as I can go. No missing sensation. I always invite you to go in search of sensation. Very slowly come back up, proud chest, roll over your back left toe. Step your right foot back. Send your hip some love. Ooh wee. Mm -hmm. We'll take the left side, inhale left high. Exhale, knee to nose, place your toes, low crescent move, right knee is on the mat. Place your hands on either side, heart is forward. And on an exhale, shift your hips back. Again, you can always take lots of variations like the one I have here. You can begin to work into your full splits. As always, notice the difference from side to side. This, I have a lot more room to go on my splits without being warmed up. I always invite you to come home to your breath and breathe into any areas that feel tight or stuck or stagnant, it might feel sharp. Allow your breath to soften and round those edges out. Very slowly bring your left foot back. Again, you can always take this reclined pigeon if that works better for your knee or if it feels better for you. I'm going to walk my left foot over to the right side of my mat. This side is always a little bit trickier for me, so I work my leg back towards the center. Ooh, this may not be accessible for me. It is not. You're welcome to take the bind and lower yourself down. Any variations that you need, again, I'm tuning into my left knee. It's going to give me trouble. So I'm going to take that variation. Very slowly come back up, proud chest. Roll over your back toes. Come back to downward facing dog and give your hips some love. Mm -hmm. Inhale, your heels high. Exhale, knees a little forward. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. Aha. Inhale, halfway lift. Ooh, it's an awesome. Exhale, fold. Step your feet, pick distance apart. Take your two feet. Fingers create hooks, wrap them around your big toes. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, straighten your legs and pull. Elbows come up wide. Inhale. Exhale, straighten and pull. 
and simply allow them to fall to the right side of the room. If you want more, you're always welcome to lengthen. You get to decide what you need always. I invite you to come back to those questions, to become curious about what you need. To become curious about if you're able to let go of whatever heaviness you felt to where you could be your authentic self on the map. And change, bring your knees back towards center. Mm. And all that's required is to allow your knees to fall to the left side of the room. As always, any variation that you need. Or you can be like me and let your good friends, time and gravity, take you where you need to go. Hmm. You needed that. How many of you needed that? That movement, that breath, that expansion, that place of curiosity, that meditation in motion. Hmm. And change your knees, come back towards center. Bend your knees, bring your knees into your chest, reach around, give yourself an amazing hug. Allow your shoulders to soften back down onto the mat, your spine imprints on the mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, squeeze your knees, bring them down into your chest, feel that compression. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Feel that compression one more time. Bring your forehead up to meet your knees. Squeeze into the smallest, most vibrant, amazing ball of energy. Squeeze everything and anything you have left when you are ready. Simply be. Find yourself in any shape that your body is asking for the end of your most important asana, your shavasana. We're going to end in square breathing, four counts. So it's four inhale, four hold, four exhale, four hold. We'll do that four times. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Exhale all the air out of your lungs. Breathe in, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, in, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, in, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, in, four, three, two, one, hold, four, Three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, return back to regular breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a quick scan of your body. Notice if any tension or tightness remains. Because you are a powerful manifester, decide to let go of whatever heaviness is in your body. Breathe in with intention. Breathe out, let it go, let it be. One more time, breathe in the light. Breathe out. Let it go, let it be. I 
dearest Jodis, as always, it is my dearest joy to serve as your teacher. I will never take for granted the gift of your trust. But it is so. My brightest light, my truest love, and my deepest respect for each of you. Together we are exponentially stronger. Namaste.